The Discovery Kids Iceberg. Hey guys, I'm now using a voice to speak text for this video and more to come in the future, and I made this iceberg of Discovery Kids mostly the Latin American version, but also some of the one here in the US, so let's get started. Name changes this refers to how Discovery Kids in America was rebranded many times first it was Discovery Kids Network then simply Discovery Kids then in the 2010s the hub into hub network in Discovery Family we now know today but not as known today until recently I will explain in a other entry in this layer soon. In Latin America Discovery Kids was still named Discovery Kids and not the Hub Network or Discovery Family the Latin America version is more popular though in place like Mexico or Argentina and Brazil because of its iconic mascot which I will get to that later. My Little Pony was an animated series that aired in 2010 and had a cult following among fans ended in 2019 but still airing reruns on Discovery Family and had other series spin-offs and movies. Dan vs was an animated series about an angry unstable man named Dan who goes on adventures with the help of his friend Chris and his wife Elise to get revenge with his revenge schemes on who or whatever bothers him from 2011 to 2013 had three seasons and 53 episodes. Paz was an animated and puppet TV show that aired on Discovery Kids from 2003 to 2006 also aired on TLC as well the show ran for two seasons and 80 episodes this show was for educating children. All I could find is some promos from Discovery Kids India on YouTube that all I got for this entry. October 7, 1996 was the date when Discovery Kids was launched. Fishtronaut was a TV show that I remember watching when I was a kid on Tubeboard but it also aired on Discovery Kids Latin America from 2009 to 2015 had two seasons and 104 episodes the show is on Netflix and Tubi and the original Spanish dub in Latin America on VIX. Doki was the mascot of Discovery Kids Latin America who appeared in the 2000s in bumpers and had its own TV series he is iconic with Latin American audiences and some in the US as well. However sadly he was discontinued in 2019 for unknown reasons. This entry refers to the promos and bumpers that air between shows and ads. Kenny the Shark was an animated series about a shark named Kenny who tries to be a predator and wanted to live with a suburban family it aired on NBC Discovery Kids block from 2003 to 2005. This is referring to Transformers Prime that aired on Discovery Kids which at that time was rebranded as The Hub aired from 2010 to 2013 ran for three seasons and 65 episodes also aired in Discovery Kids India. This is why some people are now taking about it a bit ago Cartoon Network shows are coming to Discovery Family including Looney Tunes and the SMIFS the Cartoon Network shows that are coming are Steven Universe and Summer Camp Island and will be rebranded as Discovery Family Channel with the word channel in it. Reason why because Discovery Kids is also owned by Warner Brothers. All right now we are done with level 1 time to go deep into the iceberg right about now. The Hub Network was the name of the rebrand of Discovery Kids in the US that lasted Udall 2014 Udall October of 2014 it was Discovery Family. This promo explains itself. In my last entry of the mascot Doki he did got its own TV show called The Adventures of Doki or Simply Doki that aired in Discovery Kids Latin America from 2013 to 2019 the English dub aired on Tsubua in 2014 until it's shut down in February 2021 I did enjoy the show when it aired and rewatch some of the episodes you can watch the series on Prime Video or all for free on YouTube. Super Y is a popular animated CGI series that aired on PBS Kids from 2007 to 2016 that its Spanish dub also aired on Discovery Kids Latin America but after the show ended in 2016 a company in India named Progent had a mascot that looks similar to Super Y and memes were made after the ad hit the internet. Tube with a now defunct channel from 2006 to February 2021 had some shows from Discovery Family shows like Doki Fishtronaut and one which I just remembered and researched Todd's World that I saw the show on Tube before when I was little some of all the show did aired on Tube and Haffa from Discovery Family US and Discovery Kids Latin America as of now I missed Tube and was sad it was shut down but the memories and legacy lived on. 
For some reason Monster House did in fact aired on Discovery Kids Latin America in Mexico at 11 a.m. Discovery Kids Latin America sometimes airs movies in the channel so that is all I have to say. Lust Media is to describe some piece of film move TV show music or game that is lust to time because of poor recording and Discovery Kids is no exception like the lust pilot of a show I watch on NBC Kids Block when I was 4 and 5 the Luna show lust Canadian airing of Cyber Chase on Discovery Kids Canada and the lust Turkish dub of Doki. JJ the Jet Plane also aired on Discovery Kids Latin America and also on Smile of a Child from TB and Trinity Broadcasting Network and Subor but we all ask why does this nightmare fuel exist this show also scared the crap out of the kids in Latin America watching Discovery Kids so why the show is creepy. A lot of Nick Jr. shows aired on Discovery Kids Latin America that people started to think that Discovery Kids still Nick Jr. shows without Nickelodeon's or Viacom's permission shows air like the Backyardigans Wa Wa Wubsy and Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig did actually aired on Discovery Kids Latin America and became popular there and fans of the mascot Doki says this is one of the reasons why Doki was discontinued because of Peppa's popularity so looks like Doki is very mad. Some PBS Kids shows aired on Discovery Kids Latin America and also Brazil one of the shows is World Girl which I saw on PBS Kids before and also Hero Elementary that aired on PBS Kids in June of 2020. All right now we need to go deeper into the iceberg so let's go to the next level. Oh no it's Caillou and when there's Caillou there's controversy again Caillou aired on PBS until 2010 and also aired on Discovery Kids Latin America and also the controversy of Caillou of him being a brat is also making all the parents mad in Latin America and yet there's no escape of Caillou. Dan's childhood is left unknown but we got some mentions in the show so I guess I assume his parents may have neglected him and his dad got a divorce when he was little that may explain his rule and angry unstable behavior. I covered this topic back when the search was still going on to give you some context the Super Y pilot was made by Angela Ceramello and Nick Jr and Copper Coffee Studios was made in stop motion and pitched to Nickelodeon but got rejected in favor of a other show Oswald and was lost media until PDOG64 found a audio file in an archive library and then in June 12, 2023 the pilot was found. There were Lust Doki PC games made for PC in 2009 this was Lust Media Udal it was found on November 27, 2022. Before the 2013 series of Doki there was a pilot series that aired in Discovery Kids Latin America named The Adventures of Doki that aired in 2009 but the English dub is Lust Media and just the intro can be found on YouTube but episode 1 can be found full in its original Spanish dub but episode 2 all I can find is clips so it's still out there or partially Lust Media. There was a abandoned Facebook account of Doki that posted daily Udal its last post on June 23, 2013 the page has been abandoned ever since. As I say in level 1 Paz did aired on TLC and was the mascot of TLC Ready Set Learn block that was launched on December 28, 1992 Udal its last broadcast on September 26, 2008 and on Discovery Kids from 1996 to 2010 when it rebranded as the hub there was shorts of PAZ that aired on the block and four of them are partially lost to this day but almost all of the shorts can be found on YouTube. Kenny the Shark had two Lust pilot episodes made 2001 and is partially Lust Media and a couple of clips can be found on YouTube. As I said in the last level the Backyardigans did aired on Discovery Kids Latin America and there was a Lust live action pilot made in Nickelodeon Studios in 1998 and is still Lust Media. Little Star was one of the earliest shows from Discovery Kids that aired in 1994 to 1997 on Discovery Kids 1996 to 1998 it was a puppet series with CGI segments with Little Star and also aired in the Latin American version as well. Ok we are done with the shallow waters now we are going deeper into the iceberg and just to warn you that these last two levels may contain creepy theories serious issues or creepy pastas so prepare yourself for this one folks. Creepy pastas are internet horror stories made by people of a made-up horror story of a lust episode of a TV show or a theory like the Rugrats theory others like Ben Drowned or Red Mist Squidward or My Little Pony's Cupcakes which we will get into that later in this layer and Discovery Kids is no exception there are some creepy pastas of Discovery Kids shows like Doki Fishtronaut or My Little Pony they exist just to ruin childhood. 
There are a fan theory of My Little Pony about Applejack's parents. The theory goes that after Applejack reserves her cute mark after her sister is born, her mom dies, and after Applejack is born before her sister, her dad dies as well. Very disturbing, right? On February 29, 2013, a Facebook user Spider-Man who dos memes and trolls hacked the Discovery Kids Latin America channel that quickly caused some controversy when it aired it had memes in the video when it was hacked. Bootleg Barney is a lust episode creepy pasta about a dad who bought a DVD of Barney and sit down to watch with his kids Udall he realized the episode was disturbing and Barney had an evilish voice in the episode Barney also aired on Discovery Kids Latin America. Cupcakes was a My Little Pony fan fiction which has been tuned into a lust episode creepy pasta. it's about Pinkie Pie lowing Rapidash to make cupcakes but it was all a trap and Rapidash gets tortured and finally gets tuned and baked into a cupcakes and at the end we found out that the other ponies had also met the Rafathus well a fan animation of it was created that traumatized children when watching it on YouTube I recorded to not watch. It it's full of disgusting things and blood. Millie and Molly is a British children TV show that also aired on Discovery Kids Latin America show aired from 2008 to 2009 and some of the episodes dealt with serious issues and one of the episodes is when the girl's grandpa was diagnosed with cancer and the girls helped her grandpa with the chores and on the next day the girls find the grandpa very sad and told the girls that grandpa died and left a note to bury him. Underneath the tree then a man told them that they will be building a new road. And to get rid of the tree and later, in the episode Grandpa makes pumpkin scotons and the girls gave her a gift for Grandma's 100th birthday a photo of Millie and Molly with Grandpa and the next day Grandma dies and the man tells the girls that the new bridge will be built around the tree and the episode ends. In episode 12 of season 3 of Dan vs all of the main characters Dan Chris Elise and her parents all get sucked in the Katarina parallelogram as Chris forgets to say something that he was to tell Dan and after they all get sucked in the episode resets to the beginning if the episode would not reset meaning that all of the main characters of Dan vs all died in the series finally. K666 is a joke pasta of a lust episode of Fishtronaut that's all I can say for this entry. Dan vs did in fact had a lust them song a fan of the show asked the creator of Dan vs stating it but was never used by the network so it's still out there and it's lust media so that is it for now. Okay now we are at the end of the iceberg and now prepare yourself for the final horrors that walt for you in the abyss. You may be thinking that there is no nuclear explosion in Doki that's because I added this theory I made in this iceberg my theory is that humans used to exist in the world of Doki but a nuclear war more likely World War 3 started and a nuclear bomb hit and explode causing the humans to be wiped out of the earth and half of wildlife became anthropomorphic animals that can talk and walk on two legs rebuilding human society into their own society. The reason because of nuclear radiation and half of it was affected the other half wasn't but some are bit and repopulate society to prove this in episode 19 of season 1 pentathlon pranks in the museum scene we see ancient artifacts and a sculpture of a man in this scene and when Odo was in the gift shop there's a photo of a Catholic saint meaning that Roman Catholicism and other religions exist and what we see in the show today. I did say that the Discovery Kids Latin America channel was hacked but also the Facebook page of Discovery Kids Latin America some people speculate it happened in 2012 but it in 2013 alongside with the TV hijacking as well the user Spider-Man asked followers of Discovery Kids Latin America to post NSFW artwork and Discovery Kids Latin America is not safe and later the official Discovery Kids Latin America stated. D users we are currently experiencing irregular activity in our page we hope to resolve this issue as soon as possible thank you very much for your patience the hijacking is lust media but did happen so that is all for now. There are, is a very good reason why I put this one on the bottom of the iceberg at one of the worst rule 34 is fan artwork of characters from TV shows or video games that has been turned into a NSFW image so please don't search this up it will scar you for life and then no turning back so looks like Doki and other Discovery Kids shows are not safe from the horrors of the internet. The fourth wall is when a cartoon character realizes they're in a cartoon or when they speak to the viewers this has happened in some Discovery Kids shows like Peppa Pig. Tuts TV was a British TV show that aired on ITV and PBS Kids and Discovery Family Latin America from this show scared kids who are watching it on Discovery Kids Latin America. Just like the Mario 64 personalization theory the Dan vs. One says that everyone experienced the show differently that AI modified the show of the viewer's personality and that every Dan vs. episode you'll watch is all just personalized AI. 
Rui Torres was the actor of the Latin American version of Art Attack that aired on Disney Channel Latin America and Discovery Kids Latin America but after the show ended on May 30, 2007 but in 2008 rumors of his death started to spread like wildfire then in August of that same year they announced that Rui Torres died at age 31 on February 28, 2008 in Mexico City cause of death is unknown but some people say he unilive himself because of the death of his daughter. Sesame Street 847 was the infamous Wicked Witch episode that started Margaret Hamilton as the Wicked Witch of the West from Wizard of Ants when it aired it scared many kids and a year later they did test screening in schools and realized negativity and it was lust media until it was found on June 18th of 2022. Sesame Street also aired on Discovery Kids Latin America. There's a disturbing theory in one of the bumpers from the 90s that the kids in the bumper are dead and their bodies are in the bodies of butterflies. It's time for the final entry. At 3.17 a.m. there is a disturbing glitch when at that time a character from MS Spider's Sunny Park Friends the character Spiderus appears on screen and the Discovery Kids logo reverted to its older logos then a message appears saying you didn't see anything then a creepy image of Turkey appears on screen and cuts to black and goes back to normal many people saw this at 3 a.m. so don't watch Discovery Kids at 3.17 a.m. In reality the 3am creepypasta is just nothing but false and it's not real and stored off a joke and didn't really happen so let's just end this video already. That is the entire iceberg so subscribe and like the video and thank you for watching god bless you and goodbye.